Hi Faris, welcome to Curry and Hari episode number 4. Curry and Hari is all about making one curry that would suit for both your breakfast and lunch. In this episode number 4, we are going to make matar paneer. Trust me, you can make in just 30 minutes. To make this yummy matar paneer, let's start adding 2 tablespoons of oil to a heavy bottom kadai. I am using burner kadai here and it is super good. Add in 2 sliced onions and saute it thoroughly until it turns nice. Nicely golden brown. Once it turns golden brown, let's add three finely chopped tomatoes. I am adding Bangalore tomatoes here. You can add Roma tomatoes or Bangalore tomatoes. Only these tomatoes will be tasting good because it has less tanginess and give a nice flavor to the matar paneer. Make sure you saute this tomato until it turns mushy. Once the tomato turns mushy, switch off the flame and let it cool down. When it cool down, transfer it to a blender and blend it into a nice fine puree. I am using. using my panasonic mixer here and it does this job very easily i've taken half cup of peas and i'm cooking it until it becomes soft if you're using frozen peas you can just skip this step now again to the kadai add 2 tablespoon of oil and temper it with cumin seeds add in 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and saute it thoroughly until the raw flavor of the ginger garlic paste goes off time to add chopped onions i'm adding half chopped onions here and saute it until it turns translucent and then pour in the blend puree into this just mix this puree very well and then let's start adding the spices add an adequate salt 3 teaspoon of coriander powder a tablespoon of kashmiri chili powder and half teaspoon of garam masala i'm adding kashmiri chili powder because it gives the color that's needed for the curry you can use your regular chili powder too but just reduce the quantity saute it very well until the puree gets completely cooked and oil loses out on the side it's time to add in kasuri methi over it i'm adding half teaspoon of crushed kasuri methi aka dried fenugreek leaves this gives nice intense flavor to the curry and throw in the cooked peas and 200 grams of paneer i'm using homemade paneer here homemade paneer is definitely so soft than the regular store bought ones mix it very well and pour in 1 cup of water i'm just pouring it inside my mixer and make sure that everything that's stuck in the blender comes out and mixes well with this and then i'm adding another half cup of water so here i've added approximately 1 and 1/2 cups of water let it come to a nice boil cover it and simmer it and cook it for another 10 minutes after 10 minutes just open it and add in fresh cream i have made some homemade cream mix it well and switch off the flame that's it yummy matar paneer is ready in just less than 30 minutes so for my breakfast i had this matar paneer along with chapatis and for my lunch i had it with jeera rice you can have it with ghee rice any pulao's or any variety of rotis as per your wish for your lunch hope you guys love this matar paneer recipe meet you in another video until then don't forget to subscribe to our channel bye